Episode 2, Blood in Amsterdam, focuses around a gory first murder. The Kuipers, who are this super rich family who have a diamond business. The Kuiper family are very, very, very rich. They have a connection, of course, because they are family, but they don't really want to be family. In the opening, we see a dead body divided in three parts. Each of the pieces being delivered to the siblings who run the diamond company. So the mystery is, why is this person being killed? And what is the link to the three siblings who run the company? Family is everything to us. We've built our reputation on it. It's why we're so respected. If you're so respected, why would someone dump Mr. Bycombe's head and shoulders in your cellar? and there's a sense in which I, which I was keen to explore of sort of the potential damage that the wealth has done to the family. The family has its own in-house psychotherapist. I've been involved with helping all the children in this family who are all very, very different in their personalities, come to terms with their life as, as being very successful, very, very rich, but obviously I'm the keeper of all the family's secrets as well. So what they confide in me I don't share with anybody else. So I think Florian's an interesting character because of that. He, he knows everybody better than they seem to sort of know themselves and has the best understanding of this family. What's going on now? Nothing, it's fine, just stay calm. Calm? There's a chunk of a body there and you want me to stay calm? Everybody likes to see the inner workings of a very successful family and how certain families who seem to be very, very successful and affluent on the outside are normally the ones that are the most broken. And in fact, it's all about uh, money and love. From what we've seen so far, we can say safely that diamonds are definitely not a girl's best friend.